Oh, hi. Thank you for tuning in to one of my enshrouded videos. I hope you're going to enjoy. Hopefully, it's also going to be helpful to you somehow. And you know what to do. If you're going to like, hit the like button. If you're going to think I deserve, subscribe. And more than welcome to leave some comment. Now, let's go. Have fun. Enjoy. And hopefully, see you soon. Thanks and bye. Alrighty guys, today we will be talking about first steps in Embervel and preparation for the first journey. As always, setting is completely up to you. I'm not going to be talking about it. Whenever you're done, you can go and click play, which will take you to the character creation. In character creation, completely up to you. Do whatever you want, however you want. I'm better not going to be talking about what all you can create or cannot. <laughs> you do you. Create whatever you enjoy, right? When done, you go on the last step and name your character. When that is done and when character will be created... You will be able to go back, click on play again, and you will be either able to choose your board or create new one. Keep in mind, if you already created character and word before, and if you want to go and make a new character or a new word, then you will be entering the new word with your initial character. So if you want to both new, you want to first make a character, then make a new world, and then connect these two together and use your first character to your first world. When you leave the first room, you meet the flame. He's happy to see you, obviously. And after you chat with him, doors opening and you can go and you can enter the Ember Well. Look at that, guys. How beautiful it looks. Oh, man. Well, alrighty. Let's do one more step and the game gonna tell us to press E to open our inventory. So we're gonna do so and we will go tap by tap to explain everything. First one stands for Vort and it's button m so as we know it map you can see map in here all your waypoints and all that next one is journal where you can see all your requests flame crafts people workshops this is going to be filling as you go for now we have the first quest to go and claim a spot for our base which is what we're doing right now next one is about crafting all recipes are on the left more left you have the categories on the right side you have requirements and you can also pin any recipe which you're trying to do with f button and whenever you gather everything you will be notified next one stands for backpack we know what it is it's completely empty next one character you can see everything what you can equip so we got ranch shield backpack glider grappling hood rings and your armor all of that you can have at once on you we will get back to it later and then the last step look at that last step is for skills and just looking at this i'm really really excited to see what all the game have to offer to us After that, we will move towards our goal. First, we're going to find a journal. Reading gives you a little hint of lore in the game and also gives you a bit of XP. So keep that in mind. It's always good to click on that. You know, don't take much of a time. When we move a little bit, I just want to show you that you can go and attack more or less anything in the game. And you're also going to destroy it. Not right now with... You know, just the bare fists. But uh, later on, when you got some tool or weapon, you can destroy all these shafts and everything. So let's just move, take a torch, and we're going to speed it up a little bit. As we progress, we will reach this spot. Game going to give us a few explosive powder balls. 
and we can try a little bit of a distraction so let's go because we see that light behind the wall right bam and still not done one more and look at that it tells us ineffective but we did it and we discovered a hidden room in the game you're going to be finding so many of these another journal we can read and now also i want to just show you once again like as we go the torch at least i want to show you how you can be destroying things and also you can consider yourself lucky because when we discovered this journal on the stream i was trying to sing it uh, so i'm not going to be trying to do it again you are more than welcome right after we, did, we destroyed the barrel and we looted the wood you can see we automatically unlock a new recipes so if you loot anything in the game from which you can craft something you automatically get in the new recipes this time it was shield and we also got a building block which we don't have yet because first we need to craft a workbench so let's move ahead towards our future base As we go forward, we get in yet another torch to, you know, have enough light. But more importantly, we approaching the shroud. Now you saw we are enshrouded on top of the screen, right under the compass. You see we got the timer running down. Now I went back to show you that whenever you reach higher place than where the mist go or where the shroud goes, your time automatically replenish. So it's good to remember that. Whenever you are in the shroud, if you see some hill or something and you need time, you can always try to go and refill your time. As we move, we see the game telling us press tab to lock onto your foes and control to dodge. And definitely don't try to smash the tip giver because then you most likely saw how the time went much faster down in that blue circle. So keep that in the mind as well it's definitely not a good idea so that's why i'm doing it right all right as we go further we met our first enemy you see i locked on him so i hit it tap and now i cannot be moving my view with the mouse i'm still keep focusing on the guy and i can just move around in the circles right now i'm just showing you how it hurts if i do nothing blocking with the right mouse click and then just smashing him down that was just one. Easy enough. We will move forward though and we're gonna have two enemies right in front of us. You can already see them. Now I just want to show you, right? First we lock on one. And before I before I locked on them, I show you the camera. So hopefully you notice that. But then we got R and F. And we can be changing between the enemies. So this is it. But now we're just gonna smash them so we can move forward. They don't want to give up. I'm a little bit slower to just, you know, let them enjoy their, their life a little bit longer. About uh, or life? Uh, maybe. Alrighty, after some more destroying and some more movement, we can see now that I'm destroying the shaft. So, see, it's done. This one, when you approach this ball, it's a return beacon. It means whenever you're gonna die, you will respawn at your latest, or maybe we can even say closest beacon. Alrighty, we are outside again, we are out of the cave, and we see that smoke in front of us. So that's the place where we need to go. Before we will reach there though, guys, make sure that you will collect every single bush, every single stone and everything on the way to the base because we will need this pretty soon and also you will loot purple berries which are giving you a health region so as you can see we don't have full health so if i would eat the berry now i would heal up right so they are really good All right, let's speed it up. Let's get more stuff. We got a little 
cloud of the shroud right next to the base. Keep that in mind. It, it's going to be helpful for us soon. But also, you can get some friends walking around during the nights. Keep that in mind as well. And whenever we reach the spot, we can go and look on the base building. But guys, don't forget, never stop paying attention. Because you will end you will end up being food. But alright, at least we can go and show you how to respawn and how the beacons works, right? Alrighty, so click and hold E. And then you're just gonna respawn here at the beacon. You can see a lot of items are gone. And they are with your buddy. If you're gonna look on top on the compass, you see also the you see the exclamation mark for your quest, but also you saw you see the icon with the school and that is where is your body you come in here for the totem or whichever it is and you're just gonna collect your stuff all righty so now we should be good to go wolf is gone you don't need to fight i also want to show you before we're gonna do anything else we see we see the sheep over there so sheep you're not really gonna get with a melee so, and now we are good to go and we can create a flame altar. We got stone, so we're just gonna hit the space and gonna make flame altar, which we have already in the action bar. And also to just show you that we got the two action bars, we're gonna put in the second one, hit alt. And after that, we're gonna be able to build a base. So now we choose in the location for our base. Keep in mind, this is only the starting size of your base. And the more you're going to be leveling up the fire, which we will see shortly, the bigger your base going to be. So we're going to find a suitable spot for you. And whenever you're going to be happy with it, you're going to click left mouse button and we'll place the fire all right now we got a base we can commune with a flame which is also the next step in the quest first we're gonna eat a little bit and you can you can see the berries giving us health region we had it written above the action bar and also our health coming up and now let's talk with the fire so you can see the right side, the options, we can upgrade altar, strengthen the flame or reset skill points. For upgrade, you're going to see that we're going to be increasing the size of our claimed area where we can build. Strengthening the flame, it giving us certain bonuses. So altar activation capacity, shroud passage level, character attribute bonuses and time which you can spend in shroud. And also what all you need to sacrifice to level up. And resetting skill, it's kind of straightforward, right? Pay runes and you're going to be able to respec. Alrighty, so what's the thing we have to do next? We have quest to go and find a sleeping survivor. Before that though, we need to prepare a few things. So first we want to craft the workbench for which we need strength and wood. Strength is good enough because that all what we need for that is plant fibers. We got enough for now and we need some locks. For locks we're gonna do axe. I know we looted a hatchet before but I'm gonna show you shortly the difference between the hatchet and axe. Always use this axe as a tool for gathering wood. And also, whenever we got night, go and make sure you're gonna collect some fireflies because you can be crafting clumps for you. And now we're gonna see, right? So this is the tool. This is the axe. We already got enough wood now for the workbench, but I want to still show you the difference. So this is the hatchet. You can see we smashing it for 10, but it's way slower hits or the tree and we go back to the axe so this is just the 
this is just the difference what i wanted to make sure i'm gonna tell you about and as we had night i just wanted to wait for the morning so we're just gonna enjoy a short time lapse of the night turning back to the day all right night has passed we got enough wood we got enough strings and we're gonna craft as the workbench i'm gonna place it just right next to the fire for now and the workbench gives us just a few items for now which gonna be important bit later we can craft storage and we also can craft the glider and grappling hook in there though we don't have the materials yet but sure it's gonna be one of our focuses as soon as possible so let's get back to the manual crafting on the top uh we can craft a pickaxe it's not that important but it's always good to have it we definitely want to craft a shield for us to be able to block some damage and million percent we want to do a bow because as we already saw with the sheep we cannot even get a sheep without a bow because they run in a way. And have a bow as a range weapon is definitely great. At least until you're going to turn into mage, let's say. So we definitely want to have bow. Though we don't have enough twigs, so we're going to need to go uh, gather a little bit. And the last thing which we're going to want to do is going to be the racked um, equipment. So shirt, pants and boots. So now let's just speed it up a little bit. We need extra extra cloth so i just went back to the shroud cloth in here to get a few cloth from our blue friends from our blueberry friends then when done i went out got for some uh bushes again to get the twigs i also met bees though so we met this swarm just a little hint if you're gonna be smashing it with normal weapon you see you making it damage but really tiny one but one hit with a torch and they are all gone so just like a tiny tip for you in case if needed and we also leveled up i gonna leave the leveling up on site for now because i just want to prepare you for the first journey in here so we had enough of twigs to create the bow and also, right at the moment when we carve bow, we learn how to craft a wooden arrows. We got enough twigs for a three times ten, so let's craft them all. We definitely gonna use them. And also, we need some more strength for the ragged equipment. So let's just do all which we need. And we can craft or beautiful new clothes i know they are not that beautiful but eh, you know <laughs> all right now let's just equip everything right so first we're gonna equip direct clothes we can we can throw this one away it's already stinky so we don't want it anymore now i'm lost i cannot find the boots even they flashing their army okay good now another another little tip you can also equip the bow so whenever you're going to be fighting, you don't need to be switching your weapons on the action bar, but you have them all equipped at once. So you have shield and your melee. And then when you click and hold Q, you starting the aim with your bow. So it's, I believe it's faster and it's more smooth. And also look at that. We come in for the sheep now as they didn't see this is coming so also you can go you can get the sheeps and you will be able to loot some of the animal force which we want for the glider later on all right guys this is gonna be the first part of the video preparations before the first quest which is go and find the first survivor but this one we will do in the second part in the second video. So thank you so much for watching this one. I hope it was helpful for you and see you in the second video. Thanks and bye bye.